Well, an easy way to stay plugged in all across the world is also one that experts say could be risky to use. Not the internet itself, but how you connect to it. So why is public Wi-Fi such a concern and how can we stay protected while using it? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. Before taking off, many of us tap in and tune out for a bit. Do you use airport Wi-Fi? I do. I do. Out of convenience, yeah. If I'm chilling in the Delta Sky Club, I might need to use their Wi-Fi. Pretty much scrolling news, weather, just general use. Do concerns ever cross your mind when you log into it? Yeah, there's a note, there's a little thought, there's a pause. It's a full stop. You're vulnerable to attacks. For Juan Carlos Torres, an IT business analyst. What is the concern about public Wi-Fi? Why is it vulnerable? The Wi-Fi itself isn't vulnerable. The users are vulnerable. Hackers could be lurking, connecting to your devices, eager for users to slip up. Sensitive information can be uh, disclosed, passwords, usernames, uh, credit card information, addresses. How prominent are hacks of public Wi-Fi? Yeah, so I can't give you stats, but it's easy. So anything that's easy and uh, it's, it's free, it's low cost, hackers are going to do it. Could be somebody sta you know, standing right next to you, you don't know. Torres says the airport is the most concerning public Wi-Fi location because the number of people using it at once, but the opportunities surround us. Sporting events and hotels is the, the most likely for me. Probably a Starbucks or Caribou Coffee. While that coffee shop's Wi-Fi requires a password, it doesn't ensure protection. It's public to everyone in that immediate room. Right, there's a key and a lock, but everybody's got a copy of the key. So it's not very private, is it? How can we ensure we're being safe if we are going to use public Wi-Fi? Right, so first, don't use public Wi-Fi. But if you really have to, just like any public facility, like a public bathroom, you use it when you really have to. When using public Wi-Fi, do use a virtual private network, or VPN, which encrypts your internet usage. It makes it more difficult for the hacker to gain access to that information because it is encrypted. Also, update your device with the latest security patches. Don't make purchases or suddenly manage your finances. I usually don't check bank accounts or anything serious with it. But I also don't want to live in fear either. Jeff so Wagner. Is that balance? WCCO 4 News. And be sure the public Wi-Fi you choose isn't an imposter. It's called the evil twin attack. Hackers create a Wi-Fi network with a similar name, hoping that you accidentally log on to it. If you have a good question for Jeff, you can email him by visiting wcco.com links.